everybody and welcome back for a new video. This is the 100 Fusion and basically uh, it's the same cannon, uh, just added a little bit more sand. I had to extend the sand compression here a little bit and had to uh, extend the hammer down as well because you need a massive amount of hammer down uh, to get rid of this. Um, but again, this is just one single block that slaps at the bottom. We are at Y100. Uh, but let's just uh, go ahead and try this out. Uh, let's press it here. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the cannon, just as just as always, just to get a little bit more out of the video. And for you guys that haven't seen uh, the other video yet um, on my other fusions, then you guys will have a chance to follow along as well without watching the other videos. Uh, but let's just go here. Uh, and get rid of a few of these um, and then I will go over to talking and, and I might actually show you how to water it as well uh, I got a, a message today uh, somebody asked how to water it or show how to water it uh, so that's uh, what I'm gonna do so let's just take the last wall here and of course you need to load up the sand compression as always it's a little bit tricky um, but as you see it is it is going smoothly um, but I think that's just just really about it. As you see, it worked perfectly, and it works on a, on a quite a quite a far distance as well. Um, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but let's go ahead and and look at it here. This is the scatter right here, and if you want to disable, you don't really need a scatter, and you don't need uh the wet sand as you saw. I don't have any wet sand, but uh, let's just put that in here. Um. Uh, a little bit of red sand here for the schematic as well because sometimes you might need to scatter and then I really don't want to make a cannon without a scatter if you're gonna need it and I really don't want to make a cannon without a red sand if you're gonna need it because if you need it, it just really sucks there's not a, not even a wet sand on this cannon you have to make another cannon or you have to add it into a design where it might be impossible to add and so on and so on and so on uh, but here's the scattered discipline right here if you don't want it um, and that is the same with the hammer down right here there's this one right here and if you change ticks on this one you'll have to do the exact same on this one so it has to be equal ticks um, and of course when you do this uh, it has to go too high up right here and of course in between uh, I'm pretty sure I already showed you that um, but of course this can have a TNT corrector as well and it has a sponge for when you water it uh, it is not gonna go interfere with the with the redstone out here let's just quickly block that off here um, the slap bust is again under a slap guider and that of course means you won't be able to slap bust on trapdoor filters or slap filters. Anything else is possible. So you can easily have a slap right here, uh, right here, and it will be able to stack on that, it will be able to do whatever it needs to do. Um, but as you see now there's a slap down there. Um, and of course it won't be able to slap bust on 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 that. And you will see that in a second here, it's not gonna work. Um, and it's the same with trapdoors, it's, it's the exact same. But as you see there, it didn't slap bust. But let's go ahead and remove this slap bust then. Or I'll remove this slap at least. And then let's see what happens. Because now we will be able to stack just fine with this cannon here. Because uh, the slap was on the slap guide, I want to be able to reach that slap. But now that we don't have a slap and we don't need to slap bust, then it should work just fine as you saw right there. Um, and why I choose to do that, why I choose to use a slap uh, guider or a slap uh, slap bus, slap guider is because I I tried to experiment with it. I had a lot of people helping me. I gave them the schematic. We went on different servers uh, with uh, multiply schematics and said, like, which one of these is working uh, the best? And the one where the slap boss is running on a, on a flat, uh, flat surface or flat guider is not really as... Uh, good as this one um, on some servers it doesn't really work and I really don't want to release something that you have to build on a faction server and then suddenly it doesn't work when you when it finishes building it uh, I really don't want to do that so that's why I have released this with a slap guide as well um, if you guys want me to do just a normal like pure flat um, I can do that as well uh, if, if, not, if enough people ask me to do it I can do it of course um, 
But let's go ahead and let's try to water this one here. And now that we have the sponge here, we don't need to, need to worry about anything. So let's just go ahead and sponge right there. And as well as in here, we need to sponge this up as well. And right here where you see this TNT uh, coming here as well, you need to water that as well like this. Um, actually, you could water it right here just to be a little bit more protected, but you don't really need it. Um, and of course, we're going to need, oops, we're going to need to uh, water the slap bust right there. And we need to uh, water the hammer down, which is right here. And that is mainly what is, where TNT is coming out. Of course, the power here as well. We need that as well, like this. And then, of course, we're going to have... Oh, what is this? Oop. That looks like I am not completely done with this. Let's close that in right there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, there we go. It's going to be fixed on your schematic. Um, but after that, we're going to need to water this down here as well. You can do that by just going like this, and then it should be fine. Um, now that you've done that, you can go in, you can see here, okay, the TNT corrector here, we need to place water there. There you go. Now that is water, and then you can go, okay, right here, we need a water as well. Uh, all along here, we need to water, so let's just do that. And nothing can go wrong if you do this. There's no western that can go ahead and, and get smashed. Uh, Okay, so we need a little bit more water there. Um, and now it starts to look like everything is watered. So if your cannon, no matter what cannon it is, if it looks something like this, everything is watered, then it should work with 100%. And it won't blow up, or at least it won't blow up. I'm not like, saying it's won't work, it will work. Uh, but it will definitely not blow up. Um, the only thing that might blow up, um, if, if something makes a hybrid in here, uh, I experienced that uh, on some cannons the sand gets stuck right here because it didn't really get fully into the cannon or, or whatsoever uh, and it gets stuck right here and it just keeps stacking and stacking and stacking until the, the TNT here gets into the sand and makes a hybrid shot. Um, but that is not the case with my cannons guys, don't worry about that. Uh, that is definitely not the case with this cannon. I'm going to try to reduce it a little bit more in hammer down. This is a massive amount, so I'm going to try to reduce it before I release it for you guys. And of course, I'm going to release it without sand, without water, and without um, the sand compression sand as well. Um, just so it's going to be a lot easier to schematic in. And as we talked about, I use full blocks right there, so it's way easier to schematic in, uh, especially with printer. And the long and the long uh, hammer down makes it very easy to. If you're not having build, you can simply just like build up a little bit here, and then then do it. It's not really a high one like uh, my first uh, straight shoot cannons. Um, but I think that's just about it, guys. Not really much more into this cannon here. If some of you guys are wondering what this down here is, it is definitely just um, it, it's just like uh, this booster here. Uh, boosts this booster so they blow up at the same time or almost the same time and, and it definitely just definitely just push the sand nothing else like uh, right here that's gonna blow up here so that's gonna push all this sand right here and this over here is gonna push all the sand here and because TNT can't reach that far uh, like full 11 blocks that we have here we need to do this uh, where we put these right here and it works perfectly of course that's gonna be a sad moment if you accidentally place something like this then it's definitely gonna blow up but I'm not gonna release it when when it does that so this one is working 100% I tested it many many times before I'm gonna release it uh, so there is no issues with any sand whatsoever uh, of course I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna say that it is gonna work 100% on your server, uh, but I tested it on on most servers like Voodoocraft, Just PP, Cosmic, uh, One Shot, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So um, I think that's just really just about it, guys. Uh, if you like this video, remember to of course like the video and comment down below for any suggestions, issues, or whatsoever with this cannon here. And as always, subscribe to my channel, guys. But my name is Dexter, and I'm out.